Hey everybody and welcome back to Embered. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk more about the hidden secrets in Embered that maybe you haven't uh, realized that are there but are hugely beneficial. Today we're going to talk about professional looking printouts for your customers or for your records. I think this is absolutely fantastic. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to options and you just click on it and we're gonna go down to edit logo and address. And all you have to do is import. I have my little dash hound right there, but input and I have it on my desktop. So I'm just gonna pick my weenie it says and you open it and it'll show up there. So that can be your logo, a picture, anything you want. Then add in whatever information you want. So OML embroidery, and then you can put your address or your phone number or your Facebook page or your website. So let's just put website, omlembroidery.com. And we could also put, for me, my YouTube channel. So why not? So youtube.com slash, I think there's a C in it, OML Embroidery, something like that. So then press OK. Now you must wonder, what is this going to be used for? It's actually really cool. And I'm going to show you guys this and you're going to go, wow, I expect wow comments on it because it's so awesome. Now we're going to go to the right panel and we're going to go to print. Now you have options for printing. So print a template is going to print it out in real size so you can cut it out and, you know, see what it looks like on something. Or if you just want to keep a record of it, but we want to go to print detail documentation. And here you can pick your thread catalog. So if you have more than one that you want to show it in. So I have Floriani because I like Floriani. I also have Robson Anton. So you might want to click that or whatever, you know, popular ones that you want to use it for and just click OK and then do your print. Now I've always already printed this out. So I'm going to bring it up and uh, show you guys. So just hold on a sec while I grab it. Okay, here it is. I brought it up in my viewer, which is Photoshop. You could also bring it up in Embered, but I didn't do that. So I want to show you guys what information you get on this. Now look, right here is my little dash hound, and I didn't put all the rest of the information when I printed. I just printed it and scanned it so you guys can see. But all your information is going to show up there. So if you were going to send this to a customer or if you're going to put you know, put it in a binder. This is all of the information that you need. Now you can change the name of it if you want. So this one is a DST file. So it tells you right there, design name is bird. So if you're looking it up and you, you know, you wanted to find your favorite designs, maybe that's something you could do is print your favorite designs. Then you'd have a record of them and you know what they're called. So the number of stitches, the exact precise size, uh, in inches as well as millimeters and uh, begin and start needle one. If you only have a single needle, that's fine. You can change that colors five stops four and the date. So that's today's date. Um, this will probably get released in a couple days. So don't worry about that. Now here's your colors. Now these are the, I just picked Floriani and it's going to tell you the color numbers for each in this design really cool thread consumption so you need you know 77 feet of uh the black i guess it is the black one so this gives you an idea of what you need if you only have a tiny bit of a spool left it's not going to cut it for this one you need a little bit more so upper thread 137 feet it's kind of cool to know this actually and bobbin 45.7 feet now i think bobbins are usually 120 so that's only using up a little bit of it so and then it tells you floriani polyester which is right here so if you have a five needle 
machine or a six needle machine rather, this is what you'd load up in the needles and it's going to go through. So then it tells you um, stitches ratio diagram. I thought that was cool. A nice little mini thumbnail picture of the sizes and how it how it goes which i thought is cool stitches ratio design now it goes over here a little bit this is over i don't know why it didn't scan properly i probably didn't place it properly but then it tells you the stops of everything and what stitch it's on and then you have a beautiful realistic picture of the design so i think this is absolutely fantastic even just to keep record of what you're doing but how professional is that for sending it to a customer now once you have that all set up there's quite a few things you can do with it now one of the things that i think is really cool is convert files and zip to a package so that sheet that i printed out is all of your information and now you can convert it so mine was a dst so put it in hus and it's nice to be able to see because they the ones that you have selected are now bold and i really like that so pick the ones that you want to convert it into and i'm going to click center in a hoop now you can remove the trimming codes or insert trimming codes you can shrink to fit the hoop and select only one format so if you have a whole bunch selected and you're like gee i only want one you can click that and it'll erase everything so here's the list of the ones i'm going to do so center in the hoop is what i want you can change the hoop size but i'm not going to go ahead and do that yet so let's go okay and now you can see here by the green lines it's working okay now that is just a problem i have with my computer but it's called bird zip and it would i'm going to put it right in there what it is is that i'm not allowed to save it in there i have my computer set <laughs> differently let's put it on the desktop and then we can look at it so bird here because i had an error you can change the name to whatever you want and we're gonna save it and that worked that worked that's just my complicated computer that uh, did that for you so that's how you can change it make a package of all of the variations of it and uh, zip it make it in a zip file super easy to do we use it all the time actually i think it's probably the handiest thing that you can do on um Embered. There's quite a few other things you can do. So convert files is just this and you convert it and tell it where to save. So super handy too, but even better if you zip it all together. Now you can add a watermark to your pictures if you want to do that. So click on add a watermark and add what text you want in there maybe your name maybe your business name and when you um do the pictures it's going to have a watermark across it so i think that's actually really handy to have that built in i think that's really neat you can also rename the file and right here you can get the file summary info tab up here so this will help you organize your files so we'll call it bird subject let's try customer you know 2022 that's how we save our customers by their order number so author is subi category you can categorize the whole thing so um this will be cross stitch and keywords so you can find it which is cool so keywords um bird how about just bird or hummingbird do as many as you can hummingbird and cross stitch so when you're searching you will find that revision number one because i didn't create it comments now if you wanted to put comments in there about you know the customer or i didn't like the blue so i used red so when you call it up you'll be able to see that which is absolutely fantastic so you can export the summary information file you can import it to bring it in or you can just click ok and all of that information is now going to be on there another thing it just happened by accident but if you 
hover over or hover near the design, you can see all of the exact information. People don't use manager enough and it really does a lot of things. So date created the, and modified, if you go in and modify something and the last time you accessed it, your colors, your stops, trimming, yes, scale one to one. So I think it's really cool to have all of this information at your hands. I think it's really neat. But you can do everything right in Emberge. You don't have to leave. Input, output operations, you do not have to go into editor to send stuff to your machine. You can send it to your USB stick. We've used this one because we have a Baradin. You can send it right to the Baradin card. You can do this. So you don't have to you know, open up another thing. You don't have to wait for it. You can just send it over. You can find it in there and send it over. And I think it's really cool. I think it's really, um, you know, handy to be able to do that. Image operations. There's so much you can do. I would encourage people to just kind of, you know, open up your different panels and see different things, animate color changes, remember background color. Um, there's so many things that you can do inside Manager that's going to help you out with doing a whole bunch of things. Like again, edit logo and address and print out really cool approval sheets for your customer. And you can scan them in or you can send them. And I think it's really handy. So kick your game up a notch and produce really professional looking sheets or information. Make yourself a book or send it to a customer and uh, make your company look a little more professional or make your records complete because you have all the information you need on it. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video on more Embird secrets. It's kind of been fun trying to figure out different things that you guys might not know. And uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment with a smiley face to let me know you want more videos just like this. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye-bye.